guys, welcome back to Rolling Out Tonight, the show that brings you the hottest news in Hollywood and the movie game. I'm your host, Jessica Estrada, and as you can see, I'm here in sunny, breezy, beautiful Southern California. This week, we're bringing you the hottest news in Hollywood this week. Are you ready? I hope you're ready, because I'm ready. The show starts now. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut up! You mess with her again? Even look at her again. I'm gonna wipe that smog look off your face. Permanently. First things first, we are sitting down with the cast of the highly anticipated movie, The Perfect Guy, starring Morris Chestnut, Sanaa Lathan, and everybody's heartthrob, Mr. Michael Ealy. Breathe, and Sanaa Lathan is gonna fill us in on her idea of the perfect guy, if there's such a thing. The fellas are also gonna fill us in on relationship red flags, so get your notepads ready, because our very own Mike Melendi is sitting down with the cast to get all the scoop. Take it away, Mike. Good to see you again, man, you. as Good always. You. you know, you've got these roles that I feel like everybody's gonna be able to relate to it. You know, so talk about just being on camera, working with Sanai, working with Mike Ely. We know you were uh, with Sanai in the last film, but right. you didn't have any, like, you know, one-on-one -on -one scenes together. Right. So talk about that a little right. bit. Right, yeah, well, basically when I got the script, they were already attached. Um, the studio sent me a movie and said, hey, this is what we're doing. Right. Read it, see what you like. And I love the script. I met with the director. I love his vision. But one of the primary reasons was to work with Michael and Sanai. Sanai and I have been in the same movie twice. We've been Best Man, Best Man Holiday. Right. But our characters never really interacted. Um, and Michael and I, we were in Think Like a Man. I had a cameo. So we never really interacted. So it was one of those situations where I think I have huge respect for them as, as actors. And it was a great opportunity to work with them. Morris, I obviously worked with on Best Man and Best Man Holiday. And, right. But we never really got to do anything one-on-one. -on -one. Right. We, it was always group scenes. So that was a real treat to do one-on-one -on -one with him. And then Michael, I didn't really even know. We were just, you know, peers, kind of. And um, But I had always been a fan. And I got really lucky on this one because both of them are really down to earth, really big stars, but you would never know it working with them, really giving actors, really wanting you to shine, and um, great collaborators. So I, it, I was really lucky. What have been some of the red flags that you've had to kind of look out for when it comes to just women approaching or stalking you potentially? Back when I was single and I was dating, yeah, yeah you had red flags. I mean, in terms of, you know, you know, somebody who's a little bit mysterious about, like a little too mysterious about their past, or, you know, um, somebody who starts talking to you about your agent, you know, <laughs> like, like in the first 10 minutes of conversation. So who's your agent? You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, there's an agenda there. I got you. You know what I mean? Can we leave? Leave. Mm -hmm. Now, please. I don't understand. Who are you looking at? What? That guy I told you about, Carter. He just sat down at the bar. Carter, right? Do I know you? Just want you to know that you're upset the young lady over there. And your presence here isn't welcome. Public place, man. What are you doing, man? She doesn't want anything to do with you. Okay? So maybe it's time you take the hint and move along. Look at her. Yeah. Probably remembering the sex right now. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut up! You mess with her again? You even look at her again? I'm gonna wipe that smog look off your face. Permanently. That was intense. I'm gonna check this movie out and you guys should too. Thanks so much for still hanging out with me guys. And now the moment that I've been waiting for. We got to hit the exclusive red carpet premiere of the film Straight Out of Compton. This movie is epic and we're gonna show you why this film could possibly change the entire face of a culture. Let's hit the carpet. I could have made this movie without Dre Cube, Ren and Yella and getting first-hand accounts of every moment in the studio, um, their relationships with everyone that surrounded the group. Um, it's just the details that make movies work. 
and then it's the interaction with these guys that made this movie really special and I think a classic. You know, with NWA, we, we made it all right for artists to be themselves. You know, we, uh, we showed that we wasn't going to be changed or let the establishment you know, scare us into being what they wanted us to be. And I, and I think a lot of people took our lead and a lot of good artists have come out after NWA and they felt like they didn't have to wear a mask to be themselves.